Most of the trip will be on autopilot, but there will be 5% of the trip where our lives are in Rachel's hands. Right, your lives are in my hands. Better be careful. Don't offend me. <laughs> we're here in Bangkok at Thailand's first supercharger station at Central World. And we're going to start a road trip from Bangkok to Pattaya today. It's a two hour drive down south and two hour drive back. So this day trip, we're going to charge our Tesla Model Y, the 2023 version rear wheel drive. And even though it's right now 9.40 a.m., you can see that the whole supercharger station is really full. A lot of Model Ys. And this is our car. We rented a Model Y for one day for this trip. Let's charge this car. The superchargers in Thailand are the same CCS2 port like Malaysia and Singapore. We just plug it in. Our state of charge is relatively high, we're around 90% right now. So blue is connecting as it turns green to start a charge. We're going to be a full day drive today. So I'm not alone in this road trip. In fact, today, I've got two co-pilots joining us from the Tesla Corn team. Hello. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Regan. Hello. What brings both of you to Bangkok for this trip? So for myself, I drive a Model 3 back in Singapore. I think we just came back with Darren uh, from the US trip, we drove a Model X. I'm really excited to try a Model Y this time. Yeah, I'm here together with Darren and Rachel to have a nice trip in a Model Y, experience a Model Y for the first time. Yeah. This is the biggest supercharger station we've seen in Southeast Asia. For all of us, this is our first time driving in Thailand. How does it make you feel? Find the roads narrow for sure. Um, it was quite interesting. There's a certain part of the street we actually it felt like you were driving in opposite directions. So really weird experience. Yeah, it was fun. Hey, yeah, but it's the first time for everyone. So you know, we'll we'll see what happens and we'll report back on the road trip. <laughs> we're all gonna take turns driving this Model Y behind us, and we hope that this trip just inspires you to want to make road trips from Singapore, Malaysia, up to Thailand. Because in two months' time, we're going to have a regional supercharger road trip driving from Bangkok, where Art, Thailand's club president, will be driving down over two to three days to Singapore. So we're going to share our trip experience. What's it like driving in Thailand, going out of the city where the roads are a lot more open, show you a little bit of Pattaya, give you a review of the Model Y, both the front seats, the back seats, the driving experience, the charging experience. So click subscribe to stay updated to more videos on Tesla. We'll see you when you hit the road. We're inside the Model Y, our state of charge is 97%. So when you click on the percentage, it gives us about 408 kilometers. This is a rear wheel drive. Now, because this is a gray market car, it's a Hong Kong car, we can't use the navigation here. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the navigation on Google Maps. We're heading to Pattaya. A friend has recommended a beachfront lunch place. So it's about two hours drive, around 150 kilometers, or for American friends, about 100 miles or 110 miles. So our co-pilots are going to help me navigate down. You can see this is the trip we're making down here. So let's head out. Bangkok traffic. Oh, look at that. As you can see, the lanes are narrower, the roads are narrower. The Model Y is a wider car, especially compared to a Model 3. It's super cool driving in Bangkok. So for this trip, I'm going to be driving the first hour. As we make our midway point to Pattaya, we'll swap drivers. Rachel's going to take the driver's seat. And then Regan's going to drive us back. How do you feel, Regan? Super excited. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. I'm very thankful again for the friends who allowed us an uh, opportunity to find a way to rent a Tesla. It's really hard right now for foreigners, or as our Thai friends say, Farangs, to drive a Tesla in Thailand. Unless you're bringing your own Tesla for overseas, rental, most rentals are not open to many foreigners. We are here in the city streets of Bangkok. You can see when the turn signal is on, we've got a blind spot camera. This is still on hardware tree, so that's why hardware tree, the camera still looks a bit faded. We're going to make a right turn and we got a long stretch of road. Let's try autopilot on the city streets. A lot of people are wondering, can autopilot work in Thailand's roads? Let's find out as we hit the streets.
So let's activate an autopilot. You can see the two blue lights. So let's see how it navigates internally. Fast turning all by itself. It's very, very tight here. I'm increasing the maximum pilot speed. And so the right scroll wheel allows me to change the max speed. Here we are. Again, I'm a backup. The car is doing everything by itself. My foot is not on the accelerator. Oh, I'm doing this monitoring. So this is autopilot on Bangkok streets. Look at how it works. If it works in Bangkok, it's going to work in KL and no problem at all in Singapore. The autopilot does not replace a human driver, so always be ready to take over at any time. So we're just following a road all the way straight. I think we should make a lane change. I can see. It's a tuk tuk in front, but yeah. it's recognized as a bike. That's right. So interesting. Tuk tuk in front. Recognize the person as well. And it's matching the pace. So autopilot's keeping a safe distance from the tuk tuk. It's funny. Just now it became a bike to a car. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> That's not confused. So now you see a bike in front of us. Let's see how it reacts. It's actually slowing down quite a fair bit. So I think I should take over right now. And make a right turn. Got our lane change, we're now in the center lane and we're going to re engage autopilot. Double tap the right stop. There we are. Increase the, the max speed over here. Now at 70 kilometers per hour. We can go up a little bit further and you can see no hands on wheel, no hands, no legs on the accelerator. The car is going. We're heading towards Pattaya. Rachel, no hands. How does it feel? Yeah, I mean, no hands on the wheel, but two hands on the camera. Two hands on the camera. That's right. Okay, it's making a sharp turn. I see. Okay. Oh, by that, we're making oh. this turn. Whoa. Gonna make another sharp right. Can it do it? It does. Oh, it's so near the taxi. But the taxi was coming soon. Okay, so that's why the human must always be ready to intervene. This is quite a torture test for autopilot. I'm very, very impressed with autopilot. Extremely impressive. Those are really tough road situations. Regan, how's autopilot for you? So far, no fence breaking, keeping within the lanes, keeping yeah. a good distance from the rest of the car, actually. Really, really impressed. This whole road trip that we're making, this regional supercharger road trip, as part of Tesla, on Singapore, which is a Tesla Takeover Asia initiative. It's really meant just to showcase to you what Teslas are capable of, what it can do. Now I have to intervene here because autopilot does not do lane changes. So I disengage autopilot. We are heading into the freeway. There. Yes, there is a toll, but I do not have easy pass, so I'm going to go to the metal toll lane. Our first toll in Thailand. Yeah, we're going to need some change. So, we're going to have to get your help. Hurry, hurry. Sorry, Crown. Okay. First toll. Thank you again. Autopilot will not stop for toll, so please do not. Engage autopilot when you're coming to the toll center. But once you leave, then you can just double tap the right stop. So it says it's not ready because the, the lane lines are not clear yet. So we're going to hit the main streets, make a right turn after the bus. And then we can engage autopilot here. So for safety, sometimes rental cars, when you engage autopilot, it starts at lower max speed. We turn the right dial to increase it. So now we've got a coast all the way up to Pattaya. We'll see you again soon, where we reach up country. We've just left Bangkok and here on autopilot, driving on the freeway, heading south to Pattaya. And right now we've got other toll gates. So it's engaging autopilot, making a right turn. 
interesting. It's a good manual diversion. Really relaxing drive, listening to music. There was lots of rain, very cloudy day. So second toll gate. This is the Lak Prabang. It looks like we're just getting a ticket here. No payment yet. Start from crowd. So it's really exit. With clear road lanes. We make a right turn. And we can re-engage autopilot. Autopilot makes road trips very relaxing. You can see the green countryside, the farms, the fields. Regan, how's the ride experience? How's the suspension? Super smooth. I, I was expecting a uh, much rougher ride because the, the roads in the streets were really bumpy. But yeah, so far the highway driving is really smooth, especially with autopilot. Yeah. Could you tell that it was a uh, computer driving versus a human? No. In fact, I, I've just been just just been doing my own thing behind. Yeah, the the ride is really really very smooth, and autopilot is something something that you shouldn't. No, all cars should have autopilot. In fact, yeah. So you see, our car stopped briefly because that Toyota in front of us was coming to our lane. So autopilot keeps us safe by making sure that when a car drifts towards our lane, it gives us space. What I'm going to do now is to be safe in this situation. You can manually disengage and just drive past. Or if you trust autopilot enough, hold your hand in the steering tight so that the car doesn't swerve another car. And so always be safe. Experience helps when using autopilot. And now with no much cars, you let go, again feet is relaxed. And you can see in our map, it's another 106 kilometers to Pattaya. So we find a stop midway, we swap drivers, we get Rachel to come in and enjoy her first. Island Drive. See you all soon. We are doing a detour to a sheep farm right ahead of us, 800 meters. After this sheep farm, take a short break. Rachel's gonna drive. It's been very fun driving the past hour. The Model Y is a great road trip car, especially here in Thailand. Once you get out of Bangkok City, everything's a bit wider, everything's a bit more spacious. Look at the green, look at the clouds. See. This is a priceless experience. For everything else, there's MasterCard. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is a spot that actually is more for local tourists. I don't think all the foreign tourists come here. It looks very local. And we still need to find a parking over here. We'll find some sheep and have some fun. Just take the car along. Perfect, right in front of the sheep farm we see ahead of us. So this has been a fun drive. One hour. Guess whose turn it is to drive right after this? My turn. After some sheeps. Okay, we'll take a break. We'll be right back. So we just put our items in the trunk. Rachel's gonna be driving her first time in Thailand. Her first time driving a Model Y. Yeah. How do you feel? We are excited. This is uh, my first time testing out the Model Y and let's see how it goes. Regan, your life's in the hand of a new driver now. Any last words? Autopilot will do fine. Believe. Believe in Tesla, not the, not the <laughs> driver. No, low, low, low faith. <laughs> when in doubt, use Autopilot. Okay, let's head inside and see whether the rest of the video continues or not. <laughs> <It's really good. laughs> right, new passenger. We've come inside, Rachel is making some adjustments because we don't have the Tesla app access, we don't have our cloud profile, so everything's going to be manually set by Rachel. Turn the mirror, turn the lights. Turn down the AC temperature because it is hot. Hmm. Mirror, mirror. Down here, mirrors. Right. You check the left and right. Okay. Save it. 
Steering wheel, seat height. Steering wheel, that's right. Steering wheel here. Or some short. Fun sized. Yeah. Okay, this feels great. Wait. Need a lower a bit more. Okay. See. Color. The dashboard is higher than the Model 3. Mm. So the view is a bit more limiting. We are going to the Oxygen Beach front in Papayo. Mm -hmm. The directions are set here. And <sighs> okay. We're going to navigate. God. Oh, yours. Okay. Oh, this is quite great. Rachel can do it. She can do it. In reverse mode, Tesla's always have a reverse camera. At least compared to the US, the driving lane is the same. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna wait. It's okay to just take my time. That's right. I wish that tomorrow morning. See you guys. <laughs> Faster! Faster! We're going behind, like, let's get this over and done with. Yeah. Floor it! Floor it! Acceleration! Zoom! Okay, let's go. Here in a small lane, small road. Getting back to the uh, main roads. Half an hour drive. We're gonna have lunch, a late lunch, and after that, we're gonna go to a supercharger at the central mall in Pattaya. Charge this car. You can see right now we are at 263 kilometers remaining. And the state of charge, we've only 63 percent. So, not too bad. Okay, we're driving on a 2023 Model Y rear wheel drive. How's the Model Y so far? So far, not bad. Just like honestly, just as higher. So, familiar ground for me. How is it compared to the Model X? Definitely, the challenge is uh, much more manageable. Yeah. Smaller, smaller car. Not as small as Model 3, but better than X. And the steering wheel. <laughs> yeah, feels good. So later we will find out whether Rachel can fit in the front of the Model Y. Is it not here? Yes. A new, new passenger. So how do we get this? Mm, so how do we get this, Regan? How, how do we get this? Yeah. How do we get, this? How do we get a sheep? Oh, <laughs> uh, Darren was really accurate at a shooting game, and I was really bad. Rachel was better than me too. I don't want to talk about it anymore. <laughs> it's okay. We can find new challenges. Yeah. Everyone have a chance to win. Rachel's first title. 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 Title of the life. How does it sound like? Ten. Alright, right, right. People here, not here. Why? I can't remember what. Okay, let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Alright! Someone, right, someone is drunk on power here in Thailand. Alright guys. Oh <laughs> Are you guys nervous? I most definitely am. Yeah. So we can tell us about this new driver. Yeah. She's way more aggressive than Darren. I, I already miss Darren's driving. Can we stick to autopilot? Thanks. <laughs> okay, okay. That's autopilot more than me. Beautiful sky. It's a beautiful day. Look at the clouds. Look at the scenery. We are 25 minutes to our destination. Most of the trip will be on autopilot, but there'll be 5% of the trip where our lives are in Rachel's hands. Right, your lives are in my hands. Better be careful. Don't offend me. <laughs> Too much. I'm the queen here. We just left Pattaya City in the outskirts right now, heading towards Pattaya Beach. Rachel's been driving for 45 minutes. We're all still here. Regan, how's your heart rate? Good. I'm safe. He's safe. How does it feel driving in Thailand for the first time? It didn't feel like 45 minutes. It felt like I just drove for 5 minutes. Okay, it's very comfortable. She's got highway, city streets, pretty cowboy. You can see a lot of motorcycle bikes 
we're yeah. honest. Way too many bikes. Yeah. And in some places, the road rules are just suggestions. We've seen someone on, as you make a right turn on a leftmost lane, making a U-turn. All kinds of things have happened. How does it feel? It was on the second lane, he wasn't even on the first lane when he made the U-turn. And the car on his right was trying to go, trying to take right. That's how it works here. So do you enjoy driving here? Yeah, very good. Wow, well, yes. It is the Wild Wild West, so right now we're just heading all the way straight down. You see the ocean? We're heading towards the beach. So we're reaching our restaurant in 3 minutes, 1 kilometer. Well, first time in the Model Y, it's size-wise in between Rachel's Model 3, which she drives in Singapore, and the Model X, which we drove last month yeah. in California. Getting used to the tint, it really looks very dark. I guess it's good. I noticed that the, the film says solar guard. Down here. Yeah. All these words here. So I guess it's not purely aesthetic or for privacy reasons, but there is a function. And I remember we got chowed down when we drove the Model X because everything was exposed. Yeah, we were super burnt. Here, right now in Thailand, we don't have to wear sunnies, even though it's a really hot day today. It doesn't look so bright indoor because of our tint. A lot of these tints are so dark that it's probably not allowed in Singapore. Can open this skin. See, so feel the difference. Huge difference. Okay. You're all good. We found a lot. We're going to have lunch. And next, we're going to pass the day turn over to Regan. Regan's wearing a cyber sling bag, which is going to be one of our prizes at PestaCon Singapore. Can you tell us a bit more about how long you've been using it and what's your verdict on the cyber sling? So I've been using this bag for around a month or so. Bought it from the US, shipped it over to Singapore. Uh, it's pretty good. Uh, I'm mostly using it because it looks, you know, as nice as it does with the cyber truck design. It has a lock. It has quite a lot of compartments. Over here, we have an easy access of items and you know, you can store a ton of stuff inside. Look. Look how much you can store inside. It's really, really good. So it's pretty cool. We've had quite a drive from Bangkok. Here we are by the beach side. Someone is trying to look cool here. Check out my YouTube Official Tesla swag from California. We're going to order some nice seafood. This place, the Oxygen Beach Bar, was recommended by Art, the president of Tesla Club Thailand. So thank you so much, Art, for recommending this amazing place for us. We're going to dive in for lunch of our Thai food. And we'll see you again later when Regan drives the Model Y for the first time. We're back here in the Model Y after a really nice lunch by the beach side. Highly recommend Oxygen Bar here in Pattaya. Right now, it's Regan's first time driving a Model Y in Thailand. How are you feeling? Super excited. I've only driven a Model 3 before, but I think this is my first time driving a Model Y, so we'll see how it goes. But really excited. So we're just going to head out of the car park. It's a 20 minute drive. We're going to Central Pattaya, where there is a supercharger station. This one, I believe, has around 10 to 12 stalls, and it's the first supercharger station outside of Bangkok in Thailand. We're now on the main streets. Regan, are you ready to try autopilot in Thailand? Yeah, let's go. It's a pretty hilly area, so hopefully it works. There we go. With the two blue lines, with the blue steering wheel, so you know autopilot's on. So right now, for Regan, his hands are the steering wheel for safety, his foot does not need to be an accelerator, and the car will come to a stop. As the cars ahead come to a stop, because the car's eight cameras surrounding it, can see different vehicles, bikes, tuk-tuks, pedestrians, cyclists all around us. So this is a good test for autopilot's capabilities because if you look at our map, we are going to have mixed traffic. We're going to have quite a number of turns and winds, and it's two kilometers. Largely straight road along before we reach central Pattaya. Is there anything like autopilot in any other car you tested before again? Not, not that I will remember. Even, even my own car at home has only cruise control. 
So you would be able to set the speed at say 60 kilometers per hour and it would just go at 60 kilometers per hour, but it wouldn't come to an automatic stop. I do believe some Hyundai's might be able to do automatic braking when there's traffic. But other than that, yeah, autopilot is pretty, pretty novel on its own. You can see, it just goes. We can can nudge the accelerator to push the car forward. Otherwise, autopilot will actually just bring us up this road. And autopilot will always stay in the current lane, current road. It will not make lane changes or turns for us. You need full self-driving to do that. Okay, so you can see, turn coming up. Let's see how it does. Not bad. So again, all of this is on autopilot. Very narrow streets, a lot going on here. You can see some construction, some cones. So you see there's no steering wheel icon, which means a book on the car. And now we can. It's intermittent. So when you come to certain city streets like this, you won't always be able to use autopilot. That's where the human takes over. Look at that. You've got people on the road, bikes, twirl buses, narrow lanes. Not much road markings as well. You can see the screen is struggling. Yeah. And people keep getting in and out. Hmm. So it's a very, very challenging situation for Tesla. And look at all the visualization matching the physical environment outside. How do you feel, Regan? It's pretty good. It's pretty cool anyway. Uh, I'm just thinking about the possibilities of what full self driving would be able to do. You know, when it's version 12. It's a end-to-end -end neural network and it's able to think think about and look at the world the same way the way I'm looking at the road right now and judging where the traffic is, who is moving where, without any road lines at all. At that point in time, autopilot might be, you know, a step up from what, what it is now as well. That's true. Look at the complexity out here. So much going on. So while Regan's processing, someone behind us is enjoying herself. How are you feeling? Very relaxed. Is this my first or oh, this is my second time sitting in a Tesla as a passenger? Yes, last time it was the first time when uh, Art was driving us around his Model 3. I'm just very chill. So glad I'm not driving after lunch. Having so, a coma here. Someone riding like a boss behind. For the rest of us, we've got another 10 more minutes to hit the central Pattaya. We'll see you there as we reach. Well, here is central Pattaya. That's the mall on our left where the supercharged station is all the way on top, in the top floor of the car park. Regan, how do you feel about driving all the way up? It's fine, I'm sure I'll do fine. <laughs> Not too different from the one in Orchard Central. That's the other supercharger station, right? Yeah. That's right, the one in Orchard Central was Southeast Asia's first Tesla supercharger, all the way up many, many floors. So let's check this one out, and we'll see whether Regan is still fine when we reach the superchargers. Almost there. Another half an hour more to reach the top. <laughs> Another half. Hey, we're at level three. Level three. Fantastic. Wow. Well done. Soon. Soon. They're on the same which floor again? Nine. Nine. Wow. Three times more. Thirty percent in. Oh, cool. There's high tea now here as well. Yeah. Living key restaurant. Nice. Regan, you can do it. I can do it. This is only upwards. We still have back down later. Yay, three and a half. <laughs> Level three and a half, Regan. Oh my god. <laughs> Every two floors up is only half a floor. Yeah. This is this is absolute fun. The way they measure the floor is different from Singapore. Oh yes. Something we did realize, you know, in our in our trip so far in Thailand, is that they don't have floor standardization. So in Singapore, you always have one, two, three, four, and it's standardized across all buildings over here. They have like G, they have like 1, M, 0. It, there's no standardization, so sometimes it's quite hard to navigate. Okay, let us know down in the comments how many more hours you think it will take to reach the top. <laughs> in the meantime, click like and subscribe for more videos on Tesla and Tesla Con Singapore. 
it's actually much faster to buy a TeslaCon ticket <laughs> from going all the way up to the top floor. Go to teslaconsg.com. By the time you buy a ticket, Regan is still one quarter of a journey towards the supercharger. Thank you for taking one for the team. Regan, level four and a half! Four and a half! Four and a half! Alright! Right. <laughs> We're halfway! It's way better without traffic now, so I can actually move at some speed. Here oh. we are, in the supercharger station. So, looks like there may be one more, there may be more lots in front, Regan. Yeah, there's one behind as well. Here, there's one space. in front, yeah. Okay. Is this your first time using a supercharger? Yeah, for sure. Okay. I've seen many before, but always wanted to try using one. So this is a 12 style supercharger here in central Pattaya. We're going to witness Regan's first supercharger experience. Okay, let's head down and watch Regan charge his first Tesla. Let's go. And it works, we're charging. So you wait until the green light pops up, it's charging. So our state of charge is, you can see outside, for 51%, so 35 minutes to charge here. And we can go take a drink. Someone's having too much fun inside. Mm. <laughs> Self-presenting doors. Self-open doors. So here we are, point to point. Bangkok supercharger in Central World, Thailand's first supercharger. And here we are at the Pattaya supercharger, 12 stalls. You see four stalls over here and behind us, another eight stalls. This supercharger station. We're gonna get a drink when the car is done charging. We're gonna drive us back towards Bangkok. See you all soon. We're just done getting a short drink. And we're now almost at 98% state of charge. Super seamless. Right now, we're going to drive back to Bangkok. See you inside. Super easy, right? The supercharging experience. It is way too easy. And everyone should take a lesson from how Tesla does it. Don't need to open a separate app. Don't need to scan QR code. Don't need to worry about currency exchange. We're well, three Singaporeans here in Bangkok. And that's it. We're half an hour away from Pattaya. Beautiful scenery. As you can see, on our drive back to Bangkok. Vegan, how's driving the Model Y so far? So easy to drive. It's really just such a such an easy experience. One pedal driving, using autopilot when, when lane lines are clear. It's really good, it's really good, like really chill and you don't really have to think too much about it especially when autopilot is you know leading the way. It's so easy to drive, uh, noise isolation is pretty good, pretty spacious, good family car. It's all, it's all, it's all you want in a car, it's the best all-rounder. It is, this car has everything. Some people say it's a computer on wheels. This infotainment system where you can watch YouTube, play music, is powered by AMD's Ryzen processor. So you can visit AMD at TeslaCon Singapore. They will have exhibition booth where you can learn more about their CPUs, GPUs, and even play some games over there. Right now, we've got another hour and 22 minutes before we reach Bangkok. We have about 45 minutes to Bangkok. It is 5.20 p.m. The sun sets around 6 p.m. over here. It's getting dark. Some street lights were turning on earlier. Enjoying the drive? Can you go back to ICE? Uh, I, I don't I don't think I have a choice. <laughs> We're still going back to ICE when we get back. I mean, cars in Singapore are way too pricey, so there's no choice. But hopefully soon, when maybe COE prices go down and Tesla comes up with a 25,000 USD car. Maybe, maybe, maybe. He's halfway there. He said he just poisoned himself. Just now, he did an epic takeover. Tell us a bit more about the experience. Oh. And the pickup on the EV is so much more than an ice car. But 
sometimes when you are driving a nice car and you want to take over, overtake some big vehicles, it, it takes way too long, so you just end up just trailing behind and going to your exit when you need to. But on a Tesla, it's just one second and you're, you're gone, you're, you're gone, you know, eat my dust. <laughs> <laughs> so you got a Tesla, you can take over really easily, or else you can come to Tesla Takeover Asia, otherwise known as TeslaCon. And in May next year, we also have Tesla Takeover Europe in Austria. So learn more, you'll find down more information down the link below. But right now, Regan is taking over the streets of Thailand. <laughs> it was such a bad part. <laughs> We just arrived back in Bangkok. It is right now 6 p.m. So Rachel and myself, we got a chance to drive to Pattaya. Regan got a chance to drive all the way back. 300 kilometers, four hour road trip. Let's do a debrief to hear from everyone. How is their first time driving in Thailand on a Tesla Model Y? So what's something that you really enjoyed about this road trip with the Model Y? Regan. I think one thing that is definitely really, really good is the sound system, right? Like when you have a long, long road trip and you want to play music, it's just really, really nice to have a premium sound system made, catered purely by Tesla for Teslas. And, and that's just pure, pure bliss because the sound stage, like if, if you're someone who's into music, you can really hear the difference between this and just any normal uh, sound system out there. Uh, one thing that I think can be maybe a bit better is autopilot when it's near big vehicles. So I, I think it, get, it gets a bit antsy when vehicles are starting to veer into the road and you really have to take over. So that's the importance of having to take over when you're using autopilot. But yeah, that's something that should improve over time and once full self-driving becomes a thing, it, it should only get better from here. We had so much fun with the music today. And yes, autopilot could actually give some distance away from big vehicles. That's what full self-driving does. I believe it's coming to Bangkok by next year. Rachel. Um, so I've, I drive a Model 3 in Singapore. I've tried Model X in US. I think the main difference here is Model Y. Having, being able to drive it and also be a passenger is definitely roomier than Model 3. And it's more snugly sized as compared to Model X. So it's quite a sweet spot here for a group of people um, that's maybe like three or four. It's a really good fit. Uh, I mean, talking about the room for improvement, as uh, we can see, I, I did observe about the autopilot uh, that requires human intervention from time to time. Uh, probably another thing, it's not really specific for the car, but the tint here is really quite dark. I think it's just, it's quite uh, common in Thailand here. So you see it's very dark, but if I turn down the window, it's actually pretty bright. <laughs> so the struggle will be for, for us is when we drive back tonight. And another thing is the car, I believe, is imported. So when we were trying to use the Tesla navigation system, it didn't really work. So we have to use our phone instead to navigate the Google Map. Yeah. That's so true. So this map here, we can't actually use the navigate button. Overall, for our first trip here in Thailand in the Tesla Model Y, the joy is that autopilot really works. It's not perfect, but you've seen Earlier in the clip, the city streets, the freeways, sharp turns, motorcycles, bikes, tuk-tuks. It made it in many occasions. It doesn't replace Regan, Rachel and I, but it's a great co-pilot. What I was, was different was we had a little bit more time to actually experience a lot more of Thailand. It is still very hard for foreigners to rent a Tesla in Thailand right now. We had to go through so much over a two-week period to get this car. So we believe in the near future, Car sharing companies like EVMe will make it easier for anyone to drive a Tesla in this country because it's great. The supercharger network is expanding. If you found this video useful, please click the like button. Hit subscribe to stay updated to more videos on Tesla. If you want to learn more about the road trip experience, what daily usage is like, supercharging, come to TeslaCon Singapore. You see these t-shirts here? These are our volunteer t-shirts. Anyone in the Red Lion, they are our volunteers. And we're here to give you a great experience. You can find more information and buy tickets at teslaconsg.com. Now, Rachel was talking about room for improvement. So let's see if she fits in the front of the Model Y. See you outside. Okay, Rachel, moment of truth. Are you ready? Yes. Let's do it. It's harder than Model X. All the way down. Wait, wait, wait. Just kidding.
<laughs> I'm gonna die here. <laughs> so there you go. It almost fit Rachel inside. Yep. That's the Model Y for you. Stay tuned for the next Tesla review. <laughs>